Hey, what's up guys? Dan H here. I went and I picked up new wheels. They're Jeep wheels, they're Wrangle wheels. We all know these, we love these. I got them for free and I wasn't gonna film it. Jeeps know this and they were mad. So General Grievous decided to blow transmission line and I got tranny fluid everywhere. All right, guys, looks like we found the problem right here. The fan clips the trans fluid line right there. Transmission line has been severed. So what we're going to try to do is we're going to cut the line right there, and then we're going to try to bring it over and attach it to where that hose clamp is. So all we got is a screwdriver and some paper towels. <laughs> But uh, good thing we're at a gas station right there, and we were able to buy some ATF right there. So we're going to do a side-of-the-road Jeep fix, some little transmission line splice, and uh, we're going to see if this works. So what we did was we pulled the Jeep up onto the grass so I have something soft to lay on. And, uh, yeah, we are going to get this side-of-the-road Jeep transmission line fix fixed. There we go. This is really hard to see, I know. But here is the cut in the line. I just got the hose clamp off. Here we go. Pull this out. All right. Yep, there's the brake. Wow. All right, time to cut it. There we go. Trying to give myself as much slack as possible. Oh wow, Andy, this is a really nice knife. It's very sharp. It cuts like butter. Wow, look at that, guys. Milwaukee knife cuts transmission lines like butter. <laughs> Hell yeah, it's nice and lubed. You got a lube knife. Uh, all right. Now let's. You can see, guys, I have a uh, transmission lines that have no uh, structure, no mounting support, no nothing. They're just flapping in the wind, if you will. And uh, I should probably fix that when I get home. But for now, we're just going to reattach the hose clamp so we can make it home. What would you say, Andy? I lost every ounce of transmission fluid in about 30 seconds probably it was very quick we're like man that truck in front of us really stinks and i looked in my rear view mirror i'm like oh shit all that smoke is coming from me <laughs> so we got off at the next exit and coasted right into the first gas station uh, and uh basically where you guys saw was where we left off Catastrophic failure. It would have been had we not stopped, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good lesson, man. Pay attention to the noises your car makes, the smells your car makes, the color of exhaust. Not that there was any transmission in the exhaust, but there was big plumes of smoke. We lost every job. Coming from behind us. Get yeah, yeah, because when uh, I tried to put it into reverse to park this thing on this little grassy patch, it did not want to shift into reverse. Oh, there we go. I think that'll hold. Oh. Yeah, there we go. It is reattached. Oh. Got the here. Reattached, and there's the broken line. Damn! Is it in my eye? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus! I can't see. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so here we are from the top again. Let's zoom in here a little bit. 
transmission line is attached down there and uh, well since it's shorter it doesn't hit the fan anymore but we're gonna still fix that try to pull that up out of the way and uh, you can just look at all of this transmission fluid everywhere so yep, we're putting in STP gas treatment now. And you may think that's a pretty odd time to be treating your gas. Well, we are at a gas station. No, I'm just kidding. I do we have a full tank of gas. <laughs> I do have a full tank of gas. Uh, we are gonna use this empty bottle as a funnel. This is an emergency funnel because transmission dipsticks are really, really tiny. And uh, we are gonna have to get you're gonna have to get the transmission fluid in there somehow and this is the way you do it all right so you can see these small uh, gas treatment bottles have a really tiny lid that's gonna get get us right in there so here's what we got to do to make that work right there step number one we are going to make a, a little boat out of this thing It's really sharp. I don't want to cut any more lines. <laughs> Do you imagine? There we go. And now we're going to make a little line up the top. Again, my hands are covered in oil. Very slippery. There we go. Now we could squeeze this in to get it to fit. So, safety first, we'll close up our knife. There you go, Andy. All right. Now, we have our little funnel. Ta-da. All right, we're gonna put in our quarts of S gas station ATF. Wouldn't be my first choice, but it's gonna get us home. So, here we go. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do to get the job done, you know what I'm saying? Makeshift funnels, curbside lifts, gas station ATF. All right, one. Let's just take about four or five ish. Plus, uh, I'm not gonna have any stop leak today. <laughs> Was it no slip? That Lucas stuff? Yeah, I like that. The Grievous likes that Lucas oil. But you're not getting that today, boy. The Grievous. General's lucky he got new tires. What does he want? Fresh ATF too? I don't think so. That's three. <laughs> Man, I tell you, some days, right? Perfect. Right at that max line. Alrighty. Gonna throw out the garbage. Gonna keep my funnel. Definitely keep the funnel till we get home safely. And I got one extra quart for the road. Whoop. There we go. Put this in the front. All right, so this, that's the mess of transmission fluid that we first made pulling into this place. We got our ZJ up on our makeshift lift for access. More ATF under there. We just put five and a smidge quarts of ATF in here. And this thing is covered in ATF. So I'm guessing we are gonna stink up the highway as we try to drive this thing home. I'm thinking we're gonna stop and get some uh, engine bright, something to spray on this thing. That will probably cover up the PCM and the fuse box. 
and we're gonna pressure wash this thing. Uh, if you can do that, if you unplug the battery, don't wanna short anything out, so we'll give that a try. So, all right, we are going to drive this thing now, cross our fingers, pray to God, and we'll uh, see you when we get there. guys we made it home safely fantastic news everything held up just fine uh, so we dropped off Andy say goodbye to him but we said hello to a nice evening rainstorm but that's okay because we're gonna use uh we're gonna use water for our next stop so I stopped off at Walmart picked up some uh, gunk engine degreaser we're gonna go ahead and spray this thing down and we're gonna clean up all that disgusting tranny fluid that's sprayed everywhere so uh, yeah let's get to that Okay, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna disconnect the battery terminals. Now, we are going to be pressure washing this engine bay very gingerly, very lightly, but still, we do not wanna take a chance of shorting out anything electrical. So, battery is getting disconnected. Gonna move the terminals down and out of the way. All right. Next thing we're gonna do, going to use all the extra <laughs> Walmart bags I took that I borrowed <laughs> we're gonna, gonna cover up this fuse panel and there's like an AC connector here we're gonna just cover that too why not if it reaches put that bag on Let's see double bag it you know Better safe than sorry. There we go. We bagged everything on the passenger side. Uh, battery, fuse box, PCM, coil, and distributor. And now we can apply the gunk engine degreaser. All right. I'm going to lightly coat this area. Going to watch out for, again, the distributor and the coil. Light coats, light coats. Gonna get in the cracks next to the valve cover. That's a good place where uh, where all fluid pulls up. And now I'm gonna get in here again on this side of the valve cover, but I'm gonna be careful not to soak the injectors. I don't wanna get the injector wires because again, that's more electronics. I'll just kind of glaze over the fuel rail. Here we go. This is a filthy spot of the engine. Power steering area. Get that, of course. I'm gonna hit up the brakes, brake booster, master cylinder. That's good to get wet. Of course, the washer fluid bottle, that's plastic. There we go. We got the EVAP stuff. We'll gingerly hit that. This air box was just drinking the pink. There it is, you can see that. We'll get that nice and coated. Gonna hit up this manifold here. Get the intake manifold. And now I'm gonna go back, hit the firewall. Pretty good. Now I'm gonna get down in here, under the steering box. This was uh, ground zero of the explosion. So I'm gonna get in here and get the fan, obviously. Fan blades. Get inside by the water pump. Look at all this nasty stuff. Nasty. And of course the fan shroud. Oh, all right. Give us a slight rotation. Ugh. There we go. I'll get the other side of the fan. And that does it, man. That's that's about a whole can. I did buy a second can over there, but I don't think I'm gonna use it. Just get the brake fluid area, brake fluid area, 
brake line area in case any brake fluid has spilt over the years. Might as well get that too. That looks pretty dry, pretty clean. Ah, and we'll make the Grievous beautiful again. Get that AC compressor too. And the belt. You want a squeaky clean belt. Don't want any oils on the belt because it'll slip. And that's not good. So we'll do this. Spritz for good measure. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> Weirdo. So, all right. Uh, while I spritz the contents of this can. Um, <laughs> no, that's, that's not what I was going to say. <laughs> While I go get my hose for my pressure washer, uh, we'll let this sit in. And that should be about 10 to 15 minutes. Yep, it works. All right, guys, uh, I rolled the Grievous back onto the slab. Hey, shut up. I <laughs> rolled the Grievous back onto the slab. Uh, nice and clean now. I'll have a place to work on underneath because uh, shut up. Gonna want to reattach those uh, trans lines so they're definitely not gonna hit the blade ever again. So we'll do that tomorrow. Shut up. And I'm still not gonna start this thing till it's bone dry. So it's raining now. No sense of working on it. Uh, just gonna let, shut up. Just gonna let everything dry. So uh, I'll see you whenever that happens. Till then. Shut up. Hey, good morning, guys. It is the next day. It is beautiful. So let's go see how this thing is drying out. We will pop the hood. Take a look, see how clean this thing is. All right. Pretty clean, pretty dry. I guess I'll, uh, I'll just carefully remove these bags. We'll let this, uh, let this engine bay air dry a little bit more while we go and secure those trans lines. Make sure they don't go anywhere. Oh yeah. Here we are underneath the ZJ now. As you can see, we got our trans lines right here and they are just flapping in the wind, <laughs> literally. Here comes the mech fan, and look, this flapping hose is right here. So that's what caused the first leak, uh, rip, or catastrophic failure, if you will. Um, and, and here's a problem now, I'm not sure if I did this on purpose, but uh, this looks like the, uh, the little holder that holds down these trans lines, keeps them from moving. So. If I clip the top one in the bottom spot to give it the most clearance, it is still <laughs> pushing this right in the way. So when I put the trans cooler lines in, I'm thinking I left this off on purpose so I could secure these with a zip tie somewhere, but I don't know. Did I forget to did I forget to secure it with a zip tie? I, I just don't remember. Um, if I did secure it with the zip the tie, then obviously it broke and disappeared, but it's weird that it lasted, uh, over, over a year, um, flapping like this. So, um, I don't know. Uh, so instead of using this, this is too close for comfort. Don't like this. And instead of having it flap in the wind, <laughs> really close to my, uh, my fan blades, I think I'm going to create my own bracket and that should, uh, solve this problem once and for all. Gonna clip this on at hell. Send her home right there. All right, let's see if being in this general area 
we'll clear the fan. Oh yeah, plenty of room. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and cinch this on with some pliers. We'll make it permanent. All right, there it is. Got a little up and down play, but it definitely does not go forward or back. And it will not go back into this fan blade anymore. So, all right, that is a problem fixed and future disaster averted. Woo! All right, I think it is time to put on our terminals. This engine bay is just about bone dry. Um, the only moisture left is from that trans oil. So, there we go. Crank on my toolless terminals. Yeah, we got contact, all right. Alright guys, that's going to do it for my emergency side of the road repair and then uh, I guess the follow up fix. So uh, remember guys, don't lose hope. There could always be a solution to a problem. Uh, it was a miracle I was able to fix this with just a knife and a screwdriver, but we got it home safely. So thank you God, appreciate it. Uh, General Gravis was not stranded. So uh, yeah, that's going to do it. Um, I still got to do... Uh, so I got to do the old sunroof on this baby. So stay tuned. More General Grievous videos, more ZJ content coming your way on the project. So thank you guys so much. Like and subscribe and peace. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Dan H. Welcome to the project. Today we're going to go get some JK wheels.